Today, we will take a look at the Westcott Highlighter 2 and if you ask me, this is a really, really good equipment for the purpose of portraiture, especially if you are a solo photographer, both for indoors and outdoors. I'm Richard and welcome to ZP Production and today we will take a look at the Westcott Highlighter 2. Now this is a product I own for a few years now and you can see from this video it is a relatively big reflector. I think it's about 1 meter plus in width and about 50-60 cm in depth. So it is a quite a big piece of reflector if you ask me. Now if you go online and search for this product, this is a very famous product for the purpose of indoor portraiture, half body and headshot. It is fantastic. That's the reason why it's called Eye Lighter 2 because its purpose is really to light the face and light the eyes and give a very nice catch light. And if you look at this photo here with Ria that I use this particular reflector to shoot, you really can see that effect of a very nice feel light around the person's face that wraps around plus a very nice catch light in the person's eye and the eyes are really, really glowy and really, really strongly lit. Eye Lighter 2 is really meant to light the eyes, the face and the upper half of the body itself. But today I'm not going to focus on uh, you know, indoors because outdoors is really where this thing is even more impressive if you ask me. Now if you go out and do outdoor portrait shoots, you should know that you either need a reflector or some sort of feel light. If not, the sun will give you really weird and ugly shadows. So the Highlighter 2 does it really well without the need of a helper because the Highlighter 2 can be tilted and rotated in any way that you need it to be and you can put it on a really short stand. As long as you are shooting three-quarter body, half body or headshot, you have no problem using the highlighter alone and obtaining the effect you want. Now, if you're going to shoot full body, however, I will not recommend this product because you can only reflect probably the person's face, <laughs> light on the person's face and that's about it. But if you are doing three-quarter, like you can see in this shot here with the highlighter below, and if I crop in, you get a three-quarter portrait shot, and if I crop in further, you can get a half-body shot and you can see how the effect looks like. So the highlighter too, if you ask me, is a really fantastic product for the purpose of portraiture. And really, if you are a solo portraiture photographer especially, I highly recommend you this because you can work alone with your subject, you just need to set it up. Now, setting this up is, uh, if you ask me, one of the more tedious ones. This one requires about 5 to 10 minutes setup if you're experienced. As you can see me fast-forwarding this setup here, it takes some time to set this up, definitely. But once set up, it is quite stable. And if you are facing some sort of wind outdoor, just need to put your camera back onto your nano stand or what to hold the stand down and then you can put the uh, highlighter on top. Now, uh, if you ask me, this highlighter tool requires you to have a very, very short good stand. So try to get something like a nano stand that is really small or a carbon fiber stand that I got from Fotix. It's also really short so that you can actually mount the highlighter tool on it. If you mount a stand that is too high, what happens is that you can only do half body and that is not really what you want. Sometimes you may want to shoot three quarter body. The highlighter tool still pretty much works out really well for that. And that's about it for today's review. I just want to share the Westcott Highlighter 2 and uh, this is a product I own for two years now. And if you ask me, this is very expensive in the past, $500, but today it's only $200 USD or about $300. And you can also get China versions of it or replicate versions of this highlighter too from like newer and stuff. And they look very similar. Maybe their build quality is not good, but they look really similar and probably can achieve the same effect. But they are not much cheaper. I mean, they are 60% or 70% of the Westcott price. I think about $200 as you can see in these photos here. So really, I think this is a product that I highly recommend if you are a portrait photographer, both indoors and outdoor. And I think you won't be disappointed by the very nice catch light effect that you can get on your subject with this reflector here. And that's about it for today. I hope you enjoy this short little review. I can only show you the back, as I said, because this reflector is too big. But other than that, I hope that you enjoy my channel. Do like and subscribe. And if you are looking for more photography reviews, more equipment stuff, more audio stuff, just press like and then subscribe and then follow my channel and I will produce more in the future. Till then, bye-bye.